Good to start the weekend off the win. You got an absolutely dominant performance on the mound tonight. You know, you got the, you know, the clutch hits that, you know, you've been wanting. And, and again, a good night from Zion. Just had to feel good to get the weekend off right. Yeah, no doubt. That's a really good team, really good offense. So for Seabass to, you know, go one walk and 11 strikeouts against, like I said, a, a good lineup. They always hit. They're always offensive. Um, we jumped on them early, but they were in the game, you know, and we didn't execute a little bit there in the middle innings, but Seabass was just so good. He kept them at bay, and then we were able to put up a big inning late. You know, he throughout the course of the year, you know, sometimes he hasn't been quite as sharp out the gate, but he always seems to find it, um, you know, throughout the middle innings. But tonight he was sharp early. I think first nine were, you know, up and down, and, um, you know, just sets the tone for the team and, and has to make you guys – you know, feel a little bit comfortable that you're, you know, he's he's at that level right out of the gate. Yeah, we felt like we hadn't gotten his best. He, he'd been good and good enough to win. I mean, literally every start he's had this year, we've had an opportunity to win. And some we've won and some we just, we haven't done enough. Um, but you felt like there was a little more in there. And you said it, I think the first nine, uh, he got into a great rhythm, but then he, he kind of has to bust through the door a little bit and get through that fifth or sixth and for him to give us seven innings tonight yeah it's probably his best start of the year against you know one of the better offenses in college baseball and felt like that was in there that was in the tank and um you know we gave him the opportunity to speak to the team this week and share his thoughts and his desires uh for this group and challenge this group and so it's nice that he goes out there and he he holds himself accountable and set the tone can you share a little bit about what he shared with the with the team? Uh, just, you know, we, we let older players speak throughout the year, share their experiences, what they've learned, uh, where, where they've come up short, usually earlier in their career, how that wisdom has helped them. And, and so for players to be open and honest about where they're at, he kind of said there's more he wants to do to help this team win, you know? And so when you... When you put it out there in front of your teammates and then you run out there and you back it up, man, it's a, it's a strong statement. And it's just fun because he, he really seems like he's enjoying this. He's having fun. You see him smile all the time. He's competing, but you knew he, he wanted to give more than he had given in the first half of the season. And, and he took that extra step tonight. Also has to feel nice that you're able to have – everybody available for the rest of the weekend uh, not having to get into the bullpen at all no that that's a huge luxury um you know on their side as well you know they didn't throw one of their three weekend starters so they'll they'll, they'll triple them up or double them up here in the next two days so you know their pitching staff is really good um you know we were able to get into their bullpen tonight and they kind of staffed it so uh great test great challenge tomorrow um, but obviously glad we got off to a good start tonight. As you made the lineup out for tonight, you kind of switched some things around and jumped JT back up uh, into the leadoff spot and dropped Zion down a little bit. Um, what was the thought process there? And that obviously seemed to really work out for Zion, especially with a with a three for four night. Uh, just a different look. Um, see how Zion looks in the middle of the lineup. Um, let JT maybe lead off. It's something he's been very comfortable doing. And um, so you're just just trying to keep him fresh, change the look a little bit, um, and, and it worked out. I mean, we've got good hitters, and, and I always tell them all the time, just like I told Gavin, you know, just because you're hitting in the four hole, don't change who you are. Um, you know, Gavin's been up and down the lineup, as you see a lot of hitters have, right? And it's just, just trying to put them in spots where you think, you know, it could work out tonight. And we probably got a little left-handed dominant there you know, at the bottom of the order, and you can tell. And even though Isaac and, and Klein really hit lefties well, McCoy has to get a little bit better in that area. Um, three lefties in a row, you know, seemed like every time they came around, they, they were bringing up uh, one of those left-handed pitchers. So, you know, but again, I, I trust these guys and want to see if they can handle the matchups. And for the most part, they did. And we were able to go to our bench and show our depth and pull some guys off late, which really extend the inning. Lippy's at bat and Alice is at bat, extend the inning and, and allow us to get the 10 run win. You know, as you, you know, look forward in this month, obviously we weren't able to play, you know, your midweek this week, but you got a lot of home games. 
Um, a lot of good teams in here, but yeah. has to has to be nice to be playing at home and and get it started off with with a win and, and get the confidence boosted boosted back up as you you know as you look forward to you know what is a, a pretty big month for you guys yeah as i said we we survived that first nine game stretch um three really good teams two of them on the road um you know so it was good to survive but you know guys didn't come here to survive right they came here to thrive and that's been the challenge as we hit the second half of the season. We're, we're, we're only a third of the way through ACC play, so we still got a lot of ACC play left, but we're into the second half of the season by, by the number of games, and it's just time for us to take that next step. And um, it's just one game, so we don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but it's a step in the right direction. Awesome. Thanks, Danny. You